Hey guys, Lou Sheckman here, Team Exos, bringing you another five minute mind piece set. So we've talked about goals, and we've talked about how, uh, how to identify them, how to keep them positive. Talked about all kinds of things. Uh, one thing that can get in the way of a goal is a barrier. And that is something that uh, we've talked about in brief, but um, yeah, these are the things you have to think about in depth before you start taking on a goal or a challenge, uh, you know, trying to obtain something that you want. Uh, the first thing that you need to think about is whether that uh, barrier is uncontrollable or controllable. If it's uncontrollable, you need to learn to either accommodate or avoid whatever that barrier is. And we'll get into that in, in a little bit. Um, if it is controllable, it's all about reducing its effect. Um, you know, we're all adults. And uh, yeah, to give you an example, uh, okay, so, you know, I want better sleep. A controllable element in all of that is screen time before bed. Set rules. You know, we've talked about this before. That blue light is poison to sleep. Now, that is a way of reducing a controllable barrier. Um, so yeah, set rules. They can be small rules, small attainable goals. Remember, start little, grow big. Um, so yeah, that's that's more of the uh, that's more of the easy step. So the uncontrollable barrier. Uh, best example I can think of would be you know family or something like that. You know, let's say your entire family does not want to base their lives around this new goal that you have and. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a positive goal, hopefully it is. It doesn't matter if it is a healthy goal. You cannot control the other individuals that you live with. And I'm assuming, you know, you still want to live under the same roof as your family. So what you really need to do is, um, I don't want to say avoid your family in those circumstances, but if, you know, eating is an issue, then you want to make up that time with something else. Uh, you need to make sure that, that your family gets that time with you. And if they're not getting the quality time because you know, you're focusing, which you're allowed to do, on something else healthy for yourself, then there needs to be a swap. Okay? Um, don't be preachy with it. Don't force yourself you know, on your family members. You can turn people off very easily that way. Uh, you know, something that you can do is just talk about, hey, you know, I'm deciding to eat this specific way and eat these specific things and eat these specific amounts because I need to be healthier to spend time with you guys and to be more active with you and to basically create a more positive environment for all of us. Now, you know, that's, uh, you know, partially accommodating and partially avoiding. No one said it's going to be easy, especially when it comes to family. But so those controllable uh, barriers, you need to be strong. You need to think of small goals to reduce their effect in the beginning. And the uncontrollable barriers, you need to either accommodate or avoid. And uh, yeah, using my, my example about, you know, mealtime with the family. And if you're just not all on the same page, Explain yourself in a positive way. Don't be preachy. Don't try and force you know, your new rules on somebody who's not ready to accept them. And make up that time in another way. Okay, so you know, if, if Papa is you know, uh, doing something a little bit different and we don't feel quite as connected at that moment, you find a specific time to make up that connection and make up that quality time because that's as important as anything. Thanks, guys. Luke Sheckman, Team Exos.